Hello everyone. Now today let us talk about uh, PDF export using uh, LaTeX. When of course you're doing it using org mode and I guess uh, this is also applicable to just LaTeX as well. Now if you are uh, using a uh, org mode to write a document for example recently I have been using org mode quite a lot only for for writing proposals and uh, creating a documentation and uh, when you're writing documentation you want to of course uh, make sure that the document the output of the uh, PDF file looks like the way you want it is not really always the same uh, if you compare it with maybe standard what you see what you get kind of uh, tools like MS Word or LibreOffice but still you want some control over the way the PDF looks now today I want to talk about uh, mainly three things page page bricks uh, line new line and also horizontal line now page break is important because uh, when you are uh, working on org mode and if you are trying to let us say generate the PDF file what will happen by default is that you will for, for example if you're working on a document sometimes you want uh, a specific subtree to start from a new page using a uh, LibreOffice or MS Word it is very easy you just press ctrl enter and that particular part will go to the next uh, page and uh, for example let me give you an example in all my documents especially proposals i usually have like the the very first uh, i mean the first slide is of course title the second one is usually the history document history now i want my first page or second page to be only document history and i want everything to, to start from third page for example just an example uh, which is something that i prefer so what you can do is you can actually use something like this latex uh, at the rate at the rate and then uh, latex colon slash clear page uh, backslash clear page and at the rate at the rate so basically uh, within these two at the rates in the beginning and at the end you can actually write something like this at the same time uh, sometimes what happens is that uh, the table of uh, content is printed right after the title which is a bit annoying to be honest uh, because you know sometimes you want table of content in a separate page so there is also a way of doing it what you can do is you can actually um, hide your table of content in the you know like if, when you define your TOC on top just hide it using TOC null t not null nil and then what you can do is in the document maybe in the beginning you can write something like this slash clear page so slash clear page will ma make sure that uh, after the title you will have a new page and then uh, you can print table of contents like this and then insert the like uh, like insert the new page again so this works really well and uh, I, I use it as well and uh, apart from all this what if you just want to insert uh, some uh, empty spaces now what I do and le let me tell you uh, the use case so in my proposal at the very end I usually have like a place where people can sign and uh, I, I need to have like some space like uh, you know because you need to give in your document especially PDF some space where people can write or basically they can sign now using org mode it is a bit difficult um, I mean you can create a table but tables don't really work the way you want them to work but what you can do is you can simply use something like this uh, double slash double backslash and that is it so it will actually insert uh, one empty line so you can actually have multiple of them and this works really well and also there is something called as horizontal line so sometimes you just want to insert a line and uh, it is not really a latex thing it is more about org mode feature basically if you have uh, five consecutive dashes five or more then it will insert a proper horizontal line and sometimes you want to do it especially in my document if I have like a, if I have a place for signature for my client and also for me I have a horizontal I have this horizontal line in between to, to have a segregation but I'm sure you want to insert lines at other places maybe in your footer or header if you want so small video but 
useful video i guess because uh, this is something that many people want to do because i also discovered them i also wanted to do them and as i mentioned before my latex videos are or my org mode latex videos are not only really about learning each and everything it's more about doing the most common things like inserting page breaks line breaks and horizontal lines and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye